Marissa Rio was in court today and shares the judge's explanation on his ruling. This is the second time Aguirre has been tried for this crime. Back in October, he waived his right to a jury trial, and that's why the judge decided his case this time around. Now, the judge could have found Aguirre guilty of second-degree murder, but he said that evidence and testimony presented proved that the crime was premeditated. Silence filled the room as Aguirre waited for the judge. Please rise. After listing Aguirre's charges, Judge Schmidt talked about Ruby Doss. While Ms. Doss has been to refer to as a prostitute, that is merely an activity she engaged in at times. Ms. Doss was a human being, a mother and the victim in this case. The condom with Aguirre's DNA on it, found at the crime scene, was consistent with testimony that Doss had purchased a condom about an hour before her death. And while the defense had tried to argue that there were other condoms in the area, the judge disagreed. Video evidence, photographs, and testimony do not support there being multiple condoms. Judge Schmidt was also persuaded by the prosecution's DNA expert that testified traces of Doss's DNA were also found on the condom. Further testimony revealing that Aguirre said he choked a woman the night Doss died also tied him to the crime. Mr. Aguirre, who has admitted to knowing Ms. Doss, to having sexual contact with Ms. Doss, and therefore it's completely consistent to believe that the DNA inside of the brown bag belonged to Mr. Aguirre and Ms. Doss. The fresh crime scene and placement of the evidence persuaded the judge to believe that there was a struggle between Doss and Aguirre. The method of killing through strangulation and multiple blunt force strikes to the head, the time it would take of over three minutes to die by strangulation, and the multiple, at least five blunt force strikes to miss Doss's head are factors relevant to establish premeditation. While the defense said they respect the court's decision, they believe Aguirre is innocent. And we believe the evidence was very strong, including the DNA evidence and the lack of and the footprint evidence and the alternative suspects. So we will continue to fight for Mr. Aguirre's innocence and freedom. Once court had adjourned, Aguirre was handcuffed and taken into custody. I asked Aguirre's attorney what the next steps were. She said she plans to file a motion to reconsider. Aguirre's sentencing is scheduled for February 5th. We'll continue to update you with any new information as soon as it becomes available. Reporting live in Spokane, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now.